Hello guys, it's me again. I would like to show you something today that is related to uh, losing the capability to execute some commands or the majority of the commands even as admin on Aruba Mobility Controller. Even though the controller is man not managed by a mobility master or a mobility conductor they call it. It's a standalone controller and even though we looked in as admin and the way to do that is to kind of reset the config completely on the controller. Uh, we need to reboot the controller after which then we will reset the controller. We need to just demonstrate that to you. So now I'm trying to SSH to the controller as you can see on the screen with the username admin that has full root control over the controller and the password I have logged in with. So now this controller is a standalone controller show switch info you're gonna see a few details here is a stand alone switch role here is a stand alone controller it means you should in theory be able to execute all commands on this controller including the reset of the controller adding a new license and so on and so forth which is not or turned out not in this case not to be the case now before we do anything, before we reset, we need also to look at the image because this controller has two boot images, 00, zero and image uh, partition 01. So we need to look at the image, show image version. And that tells us that this controller has two partitions, partition 0 that has 8.6.0.4 and partition 1 that has 8.6.0.0. Now the default boot partition happens to be partition zero. That would be important to us when we get back to this one later on after we reset the controller. I'll show you an example. Let's just try to re reset the controller to factory settings. Now, as you have seen, we have logged into this controller as administrator. So we're gonna do issue this command, write erase all. That will should erase everything on the controller. And I say yes. It says you do not have permission to execute this command on this device. So what we need to do is uh, reboot the controller, um, interrupt the boot sequence at the second prompt of Control X, and issue the format command, which I will show you in a minute, and then instruct the controller to boot from a certain load, a certain partition. We can choose any of these two, but I will select as the default, I will select partition zero. Now we can see that the controller is booting and we will let the first control X prompt go away. We will not touch the controller at this stage and we will interrupt the second boot sequence, something like that. Now we will issue the command format format zero colon two format zero colon two. Now that will take a bit of time, so you're going to say yes to this. That will completely erase the config. Um, and any unstuck uh, limited capability for the admin user. Now we are back. We can see that after a while, the switch or the controller has reset its flash. So what we're going to do, we will have to instruct the controller to boot from a certain partition. And we said we're gonna instruct the controller to boot from partition zero. So it's loading the image on partition zero in this case. And we're gonna wait for that to complete, after which we're gonna reboot the controller. So now the controller has been reset. Let's just quickly build the controller from the uh, quick setup menu. And we're gonna do that. Uh, so we can select uh, the fast um, full setup. The full setup. I'm going to say yes, and we're going to 
configure this controller as a standalone controller with very simple setup. So the name we're going to select MC uh, any name one, and we're going to say stand alone, and we're going to configure this one as um, <clears throat> we leave it as VLAN one. So I'm not going to touch anything in here. So uh, this is we're going to configure this one as a trunk native VLAN. We leave it one. And the IP for this one would be 10.1.110.100, subnet mask, gateway 10.1.10.1, and we're going to configure IPv6, no. The country where this one is located is UK, and we're going to say yes. And probably if you'd like to set this one to Europe, London. And this is the time zone basically. There's no time server right now, so uh, it's up to you. This is a tree build task we shouldn't be much worried about, but uh, probably we can go for that. 9 56 um, and 50 seconds right now, and the date is correct. And we can select the password for the admin, select the password for the admin, and we will accept that. And we're gonna see after which. Uh, once the controller reboots, we will add the licenses and uh, by doing so, we can confirm that the issue that we had encountered was, uh, was resolved. Now the controller is back online, so we're going to log in as admin, password, as we have configured the password, we're going to say show role info. It's a standalone controller as it is expected. We will be installing the license in this case, so we're gonna just uh, probably, um, I just copy the licenses, I'm gonna paste the commands. Um, now, if we issue the command show license, we're gonna see the licenses have been installed. So we're gonna try now to reset the controller again just to prove that we have resolved the issue that we had before. So we're gonna do this, right, erase all, and let's see what message do we get. And it is restarting, it means this issue has been resolved. Thank you very much, and that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching this video.